Hi, I'm Amanda, and I joined the 30 Year Plus Global Movement as a Slow Food Chapter Leader in Dallas, Fort Worth. I follow the slow food belief that food is important as a connector of community, it has, and it intersects with biodiversity and ecosystems, equity and social justice, all cultures and traditions, and the joy of ingredients that support our North Texas economy. Slow Food DFW will connect you with the slow food people, mentor you in growing, finding, sharing, and even cooking food, and giving you the opportunity to advocate for good, clean, fair food for all. This is Slow Food. I'm Kim Amen. I'm the governor for the state of Texas. I'm a school garden educator and co-chair of the Slow Food USA School Garden Network. And school gardens are is slow food. School gardens are so important because it teaches the littles to love the land and the food and their health. So, school gardens, this is slow food. We're right here at the 10th Street Community Garden, and we have the community out, everybody out cleaning up, getting ready. See the food there getting stacked up in the background. So 10 a.m. we're going to be going uh, going live with the food distribution, and we're getting our getting our garden space up here cleaned up. We've got a, the the kids group from Develop You. Appreciate y'all for coming out, guys. We got Teach for America coming out, partnering with us. Thank you so much. And this is the 10th Street Garden Space. Getting it cleaned up right now. A whole community of volunteers coming out and making it happen. Hey y'all, Hayat El Jundi here with Farmers Assisting Returning Military. We are out here in Red Oak, Texas at veteran Jeremy Lampier's property. Jeremy is a beginning veteran farmer and we are fortunate to be here with the Eagle Scouts to help him begin his slow food journey here in Ellis County. Check it out. Look at these beautiful sheep and this huge fertile soil that will be going growing nutrient dense foods and there's the high tunnel Burgundy pasture beef actually came into existence in 1999, but prior to that, been ranching my whole career. I'm John Taggart, and Wendy and I own Burgundy Pasture Beef in Grandview, Texas. 
When we first made the decision to go grass-fed beef and we kind of looked at the market and, and at that time almost nobody was marketing grass-fed beef. You couldn't get it in any mainstream grocery store. The all-natural was there and some big people were already in that so we had to take a step further away to separate ourselves from the commodity industry and this is what we ended up with. So we just mimic mother nature and what we do and how we manage these cattle and then use really superior genetics with Angus cattle to produce the product that we do. Absolutely. So conventionally made wine versus organic wine, which is all that we carry, uh, can have up to 75 different additives. And those additives made me ill. And so this has a very personal uh, mission for me because I want to spread the word of clean drinking. If you're going to do it, you might as well do it right. Hell yeah. Know what goes in your body. And so this is drink better, feel better, drink better booze. That's what we say here. Wow. Our garden. And I have to say, let's also buy better. Holy heck, walking into your store is like an instant zen experience. All right, y'all. Ah, I have to tell y'all, it smells fantastic. It feels fantastic. We have Inya, like, entering our soul as we walk around. Check it out. All these vintners all around us care about us and our palate, and more importantly, our sustainable bodies to a certain extent. Absolutely. <laughs>